time for your morning rush. Starting today, all businesses can operate at 100% capacity, both indoor and outdoor. This is the governor lifts all restrictions. Well, masks are no longer required for fully vaccinated New Mexicans. Businesses, government facilities, and healthcare facilities can still require COVID safe measures at their own discretion. Any county officials will be back out today looking at the damage left behind by floodwaters. This morning, of the 38 people evacuated, all but eight are back home. Now, in Roswell, the levee that broke on Memorial Day has breached once again, but the flooding has not come to the level of where it was three weeks ago. A sweeping overhaul of New Mexico's liquor laws goes into effect tomorrow, but some of the biggest components are still on hold. House Bill 255 will allow Sunday morning alcohol sales, but alcohol delivery to your home is still on hold. Erica. And here's a look at our metro um, forecast for the morning commute. Temperatures in the mid 60s this morning through 9 a.m. Dry weather expected through the midday. And we'll see a chance for a shower later on in the afternoon. Gross receipts tax on sales will not have to be paid by medical cannabis dispensaries and patients. Now, as of Tuesday, receipts from the medical cannabis sales are deductible. But when adult use cannabis sales begin next year, those will be taxed at 12%. And increase each year up to a maximum of 18 percent. New Mexico public schools will be required to implement new anti racism policies and include culturally inclusive content in classrooms. Under the Black Education Act, teachers will go through training and professional development to ensure that they are supporting black students within their classrooms. A two year old boy from New Mexico who was found dead in Oregon Creek back in 1963 has finally been identified. Investigators found the toddler's body in the mountains near Ashland, Oregon. After DNA was taken in 2008 when the boy was exhumed, a sibling match. Was finally found through a genealogy site. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index today. It is low. We'll only see a few isolated showers possible by later on this evening. A local theater is getting ready to kick off live performances for their 92nd season. Albuquerque Little Theater's summer series kicks off July 8th that runs through August 29th. You might remember back in February, the theater asked for the public's help to help them stay afloat. They say donations help them survive. Albuquerque residents looking to see the fireworks at Balloon Fiesta Park this week can still get tickets, but you will have to act fast because they are going, or there are fewer tickets rather than usual. That's because there is no park and ride, so there's only room for 3,500 vehicles at $20 per car. Erica. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's a check on the maps. We're seeing pretty much all green out there, a couple slowdowns towards the interchanges. And here's a look over the big eye. Things are moving right along, and we've got partly cloudy skies. We'll talk about coffee with a kick. New Mexico United has now teamed up with Piñon Coffee on a new brew that's all New Mexico. The Somos Unidos blend infuses Biscochito coffee with a dash of red chili. A portion of the sales from each bag goes to the charitable Somos Unidos Foundation. Welcome back. Back in 1930, we had the wettest July on record with 4.45 inches of rain. And in 1980, it was the driest July on record with only 0 .08. We are going to see some drier weather starting to take back over as we head into this July. And time now for the five facts. Number five, the local theater is getting ready to kick off live performances for their 92nd season. Albuquerque Little Theater Summer Series kicks off July 8th. That runs through August 29th. You might remember back in February, the theater asked for the public's help to keep them afloat. At number four this morning, a two year old boy from New Mexico who was found dead in Oregon Creek back in 1963 has finally been identified. Now, investigators found the toddler's body but were not able to find out who he was. A sibling match was finally found in 2008 thanks to a genealogy site. Well, that led detectives to the birth certificate of the boy named Stevie Crawford. Detectives say his body will finally be reunited with living family. And at number three, we'll have numerous mountain storms today with some flash flooding possible around the burn scars and limited valley and plains rain. And number two, Eddy County officials will be back out today assessing the damage left behind by floodwaters. Well, this morning, of the 38 people evacuated, all but eight are back home. Residents also learned that one of their neighbors is presumed dead after witnesses saw them drive around a barricade and they get swept away by the floodwaters. And finally, at number one here this morning, it's back to business in New Mexico as the governor lifts all restrictions that have been in place for nearly 16 long months. Starting today, all businesses can operate at 100% capacity, both indoor and outdoor. The city of Albuquerque will return to nearly 100% 100% at their facilities for employees. You'll no longer need a reservation to get into a city pool as well. Masks are required for those who are fully vaccinated. However, businesses, local governments, and healthcare facilities can still require them.